this is this is a little bit crazy. But it, th this is how they summarize the situation in Syria right now. I thought it tells tells us a lot about mm -hmm. what what we're going to sort out. And it goes, a big issue might have been that when FSA, the Free Syrian Army, formed its anti-Al-Qaeda coalition, the Nusra Front formed its own coalition to fight them. And the CIA program was arming forces in both groups, with the Nur al-Din al-Zinki faction joining the Nusra Front's coalition against the nominally moderate Islamic faction. Well, there it is. I mean, it's, it's clear it's very enough. Simple. You know, I <laughs> keep reading to make sure I can keep all these groups straight. But uh, it, don't you think this is a bit symbolic of the of the difficulty in figuring this out and maybe being a reflection of a deeply flawed foreign policy? It's like a mouthful of bubble gum, you know. <laughs> right. but, but you know, so so essentially, what is they're saying? The CIA is fighting the CIA in this one group. Because remember, we did a show six or seven months ago where the CIA people were fighting the Pentagon people. So I guess they're making progress or regress. Yeah, or yeah but they don't address the subject of who's protecting the American people, the American yeah. taxpayer, who's protecting our national security. Of course. That